caught me drinking water, but <laughs> there we go. Hello. Good morning. Or good oh, afternoon. Oh, good morning. Right? Your time. Good You're on mountain time. Me. 1030 in the morning. Good afternoon to you. Good lunchtime to you. <laughs> I have been running around like a fool earlier. I just got home a few minutes ago. We haven't really prepared anything, but uh, we're just going to go right into it, right? Exactly. We'll just do like we always do. Fly by yeah. the seat of our pants. Hey, I like your hair, though, by the way. Oh, thank Flat you. Flatiron's child. Yeah, that's what Jeff called me yesterday. Jeff Ravilla, <laughs> Flatiron child. Because <laughs> well, I had complained that I hadn't had time to curl my hair. <laughs> it looks cute either way. Thank I you. just, I can't stand mine right now. I am at war with my hair. That's why I'm wearing this hat. Well, and I always love that. All these like wiry, super coarse gray hairs all over the place. It makes my head look like a clown. Yeah. I mean, grays. I'm sorry. I can't stand it. I can put like 20 pounds of product in my hair and it still looks like dandelion fluff. So <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I think you do it lovely. So if oh, whatever you're doing is working, good job. Well, you're nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's uh, something coming up in a few days yes. what's that somebody's birthday oh goodness sakes yeah so tonight, <laughs> tonight is going to be very fun um i'm going to be part of a bachelorette party and slash my birthday so i'm um, really looking forward to that yeah and i'm like now how old box. are you again I'm boom boombox box years, years old. old now if anybody knows what what age wendy might be put that down in the comments and we'll let you know if you're right oh or not. my gosh I, when I he stream. is boombox years old, boombox everyone. I am, you know, landline phone, one phone for the whole household old, you know. <laughs> I, I remember, uh, you know, my college roommates, I lived at several different places. Well, the one we lived above this grocery store and I had like five roommates and I was on the phone with my mom. So we had one phone for everybody. Oh, so I had so to grab tough. the phone in the kitchen put it in my room close the door and I'm on the phone with my mom and it's like forever to get her off the phone <laughs> and one of my roommates Charlie goes get off the phone get off the phone he had no patience whatsoever like you know two seconds later you better get the heck off the phone and you know um I'm trying to wind down the conversation could not and finally he's yanking on the cord this cord is like a mile long curly oh my cord. gosh <laughs> and my you know the phone's in my hand and just yanking it he yanked it so hard went flying out of my hand <laughs> slammed against the bedroom door i'm like what i mean that's what you had to deal with back right? then put you him know? on the phone with your mom right oh for crying maybe out that loud. would cut it down <laughs> oh, you know i found out later i didn't know this at the time but you know he was a drug dealer and well you no know, wonder he, he needed that quick sale phone he had to do he had yeah. to get on the phone so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the joys oh, of right. you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, but yeah. Hey. Well, I, you know, I saw you posted the other day about this really cool guest that you had on your show yeah. this week. Talk about that. A juicy pear podcast. Yeah. I had a couple of great guests this week. Uh, her, um, she's an animal whisperer and it was just very fascinating. Like she wow. talks to all kinds of animals. She's actually part of um, an anthology book that I was a part of uh, last summer um, called Thriving Beyond Crisis. And um, her story in there was really compelling. It was about snakes wow. <laughs> and uh, how she was so scared of snakes. And um, I'll just kind of, you know, say a little bit about it. Um, you know, she just kind of asked one day, you know, I'm so scared of snakes. I don't want to be scared of you anymore. Mm -hmm. So for the following couple of weeks, guess what she saw? like every day, snakes. all the time, <laughs> snakes in her path on the sidewalk, uh, all over the, in, in her house, like her, wow. into her house. I, I don't know. Very fascinating, compelling story. Um, she talks to deer. She talked to uh, a carp. <laughs> I didn't get that wow. recording, but that was a very interesting story. <laughs> wow. Um, very fun. So that's coming out. And, you know, um, I had a really cool author on, um, yesterday that'll be coming out too. Uh, she writes the billionaire immortal immortal billionaire series gosh Ooh. don't quote me on that she's run, written many books um she's got fans all over the place uh she writes spicy romances Ooh. and uh very fun talking to her and i'm gonna be having some a lot of paranormal investigators and ghost hunters coming mm. on in the next uh couple months that's kind of yeah. my thing too so 
yeah, lots of fun. Exciting. Well, and I was just telling you that I am just yesterday interviewed an author that is also a paranormal. And I, when I told her about you and getting on your show, she was so excited. I think you two will just hit it off. Amazing. Her name is Maven. Yeah. Just gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Sounds very fun. I would love to have her. So fun. Yeah. And then I interviewed another gal who is a life coach and um, Tina Jones and Tina really, uh, Tina and I really resonated and it felt like the conversation just could have just kept going and going and going. We agreed and resonated on so many things, parenting styles, you know, mindsets for adults and helping your kids have the correct mindset. So it was incredible. Great time to spend with her. Um, Tina Jones.net. If you want to look at her stuff and um, she was incredible. And then I also, my episode this week that I, that I aired was an author. His name is Richard Capriola. And he talks about um, teen and adolescent substance abuse. Okay. So and important. so important. And especially, I think the most important takeaway from that are the signs to look for in your child. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but how to set up the right kind of communication with your child to begin with. So that you can start teaching them, um, kind of first about the way their brain works. Yeah. And then secondly, when they get a little older, how those substances can affect that, the brain and yeah. the working. So and I thought that was so smart. Yeah. Yeah. So great episodes this week cool. to check out. And we're so excited because yeah. Wendy and I are going to be both hosting our shows um, in the Women of Indie Pods Summit that is going to Yay. be. Yeah. This weekend, Friday night and tonight yeah. and Saturday, all day tomorrow. And I wanted to just read off the guest list, the presenters, because absolutely Lots such incredible people. women. And we yes. want to just lift them up and support one another. Um, first, I apologize to anyone that I, if I mispronounce their name, I'm very phonetic. So I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> so um, yeah, some of the speakers that we have coming on are Chelsea Ola Miller. Anita Wong, Tori Kubik, myself, Sarah Bradford, Maria Daniels, Stacy Price, Wendy Koch, Rebecca Fowler, Christy Ann Clark, Kristalyn Vitovich, Emily Dexter, um, Kata Fitzgerald, oh, I'm sorry, Keisha Fitzgerald, may have pronounced that one incorrectly, Jolie Downs, Natalie Vecahone, um, Karen Gilbo, as well as Robbie Seal, who were two new uh, people we put in the run for tomorrow. And so we're so happy to have these incredible women. Yeah. To- and I- I, let's let me just say you're fantastic this. because you kind of stepped up to the plate. You are now currently co-hosting this whole thing and you weren't at first, but now you were yeah. kind of nominated to kind of fell into that position. So thank you. Kudos I'm to so you. I'm so excited, Wendy, because I really love to learn and, you know, I'll be hosting my own autism summit later this summer, August 5th and 6th. And Fabulous. now I'm going to be learning all of the steps to be putting together my yeah. own summit and how to host it and push all the buttons. <laughs> Whatever It'll be a great it time. Thank I just you. think it's wonderful because yeah. we're getting everybody together and, you know, with all their different um, knowledge that they yes. know and their viewpoints. Great podcasts. And, um, yeah. It's just uh, exactly. fabulous. So. so everybody, if you don't have a ticket already, we will um, post the tickets down in the comments so that you can go yes. and get your tickets for the indie the women of indie pods summit that will be tonight and tomorrow. So yeah. don't miss it. Yay. Cool. I'm excited. That Any other plans for you? Um, for the yeah. Weekend? I don't know. I, you know, after tonight, I'll probably just <laughs> <lay low. laughs> I'll be up at seven in the morning and then awake, you know, until forever tomorrow night, because I'm going to be um, giving a morning greeting in the morning and then oh. doing the evening uh moderating so okay. it'll be a, a fun be really but busy. long day to me yeah exactly yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it 
Yeah, it'll be a fun educational um, thing for you. Yeah. Um, and me too. This is the first time um, I'll be joining this, so I'm very excited. Yeah, it. So. I had such a blast on the last summit that they held in yeah. this Indie Pods group. Um, you know, Jeff Ravella is also the host. He's the only man that's on there, and he he's like, I'm just gonna <laughs> kind of stay him. out, stay out of this. But he is so friendly and cool. such a great host. I mean goals for hosting to be like Jeff, (laughs) you know, and you always come away from those sort of things, learning so much, Yeah, you know, um, it's just incredible. It's just nice to have the opportunity to do that and have that platform. I'm, I'm always thankful for that. Really. I love connecting with other podcasters. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever felt so connected and like a part of something. I, I really can't even think of any podcasters I've ever met that have been like, eh, I don't really, right. you're not my style. I don't like right, you right. <laughs> right. now in my real life, <laughs> plenty of those, right. <laughs> uh, especially attorneys, right. You can't, oh, gosh, can't be too yeah. happy around those people. We already right. went over that down that road. No, just uh, kidding. But, yeah. um, yeah, it, it's so much fun to be a part of this and to be able to g- gain and, and share so much information. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it'll be invaluable and I'll probably be there with lots of notes and, um, you know, yeah. I, I just love meeting new people and making new connections anyway. That's my, it's be that's so my much thing. fun. That's my go-to. It's so, beautiful yeah. here this weekend. It's supposed to be in the seventies. So I'm hoping maybe Sunday I can get out and play and go, you know, oh, yeah, there's no nature. playing around here. It's, it's like, it's going to be cold thirties, forties. Oh, oh you're gonna... getting our weather that we just yeah. had. Um, I haven't seen Batman yet still. <laughs> Sorry, I have, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I, have a, I want to. While Robert Pattinson's in it, I'm going to make a point of going to see it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I haven't even had a chance to edit podcast. I, there might not be a new one coming out next week, but that's okay. People can cherry pick absolutely all the different right? episodes that I have. So yeah, um, yeah, you're going to be busy mm-hmm. with the summit. Any other like relaxing plans for Sunday? Oh. Chill out mode. Yeah, legs we'll play it by ear. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, yeah. take the dogs for a walk even. And that's sometimes just like even the best small outdoor getaway I can do is, you know, we have this great, well, it wasn't great when we got it, but now we have this back walkway on our, we live on a canal and yeah. we can go just right out our back gate and onto the canal and take a nice little nature walk. So yeah. Cool. Well, that's good. Getting in and touch now, with if nature. I was the only one that could walk on the trail, it would be best because my dogs, they don't like everybody else that walks on it. Yeah, no, <laughs> mine doesn't either. I, I can't take my dog on a walk. He's just, he's crazy. He's like, you know, the biggest, yeah. baddest dog on the block talk and to he's that, very uh, small and barks at everything. And the pet whisperer. Yes. You better have her talk to your dog. You get her in touch with uh, Widget. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Have Widget's people get in touch with her people. <laughs> I, will. I, will. I got Too the funny. card. I love it. Well, well so much fun today. Thank yep. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for doing those cool graphics and um, oh, yeah. always fun talking to you. I'm already in a better mood. Uh, like I always. love it. And um, you guys take care of yourselves and have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Hey, have a great weekend. Bye.